Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Blight League. So, you're lucky. This time, this episode, it's chill. We're, we're, we don't have a new update to the build. We're not gonna, like, go, oh, we've rechanged all the items. No, don't worry, don't worry. You, you, this is just gonna be some cool stuff to show you about the game. So, June over here. Uh, if you didn't know, I believe this is the Betrayal League. Uh, I started in Synthesis, so whatever. I learned about Betrayal after. But basically, um, it's this person, June Veiled Master, and you normally, when you kill the syndic like the assassins that this person sends after you, um, you would get items, armor pieces, and weapons and stuff, and then they have an Unveil mod, and you can unveil them to learn the recipe in your crafting bench so that you can actually craft it yourself onto your items so you're literally learning crafting recipes and you pick the mod when you unveil you pick the one you want because you want to learn it okay so that's why i unveil so much you may see every now and then um and then something else is you have investigations to find safe houses hideouts and then the mastermind the head leader okay so i i just want to show you normally well first i want to talk about normally the way people would do it is they do the investigation and then once they get the 100 percent, they know where the hideout is for the mastermind they go kill the mastermind now i have a new way of doing it well look at this Hello. so if you look at your investigation you can see each person has lines connecting to each other and there's a billion lines they're all they, they're all green no red here no red all green and so what happens a lot in my maps is i'll have four of them come after me they team up instead of one you get four so then you get literally four times the stuff four times the items unveils the the um intelligence about the, so when you deal with them after you can do two options and then i i keep playing around with it and getting tons of uh trust and lines and it's fun and uh, you can get tons of intelligence. So every time you get intelligence, it's a percentage towards finding the safe house of whichever one it says. So if it says research intelligence, it'll help you find Hillock. If it was intervention intelligence, it'll help you find Riker. And it goes like this. Um, and so like in one of my clips, uh, I might show uh, how I get 32 intelligence from a single person which is the highest I've ever seen, maybe because of how my stuff is set up. I'm not sure, but it does seem like it's been helping, and also the stars of the people seem to also matter, so getting their star level up is pretty important. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I've been trying. I don't know if this is better than just doing the Mastermind, but I've tried doing the Mastermind before because that's what everyone does, but now I'm thinking, like, look at this, dude. It's pretty crazy. I'm having fun. Uh, and now I'll show you the clips. Also, I'd like to mention I've been leveling. Uh, we're going for 100, so we're at 55%. And uh, I find June, when you do these safe houses and hideouts, it's insane experience. You get like 1.7 mil experience at level 98 for just one clear of a safe house. And then you also get um, the, the speed at which you can do the safe house. It is 57 million uh, experience per hour, which is faster than tier 16 mapping. So, for me, for, for this character. So, that's super cool, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the clips. Uh, so, I also will pre preemphasize this the, the Cyclone character, the newest version, is the one that I recommend, and you'll see some clips of my previous versions of the character because I've been. I had this video in mind for a while, and I had so much other stuff to upload that this one's kind of been on the backlog, so now we have it out finally. I'm so happy. Now I can expo uh, release this to you as well um, and see what people think about doing this way of June. It's pretty neat, um, and at any point, we could just it's like Uber. We could just kill the, the top thing, Uber, and then reset the whole map. Like my map, I've been trying to get um, a shaped... I know, sorry. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, shape strong, shaper stronghold uh, on my burial chambers. I have attempted 40. 40 tries. I can't get it. Uh, but I did it with tier, the tier 4 map. I un-elder I un orbed my burial and did T4s. And then 
uh, I ran, I bought 30 or 40 T4s, and I still don't have the shaper on it. I landed it on Ash and Field, uh, or Ash and Wood. I landed it on Spider Layer. I've landed on Peninsula. Like, everything around Burial Chain, it's, it's pissing me off, man. But I will get this. Now I'm doing them Tier 16, and it's gonna happen. Don't worry. Anyways, uh, let's get into the clips. In my playing, I uh, got another safe house at 50%, uh, so we'll reset the experience and we'll track what we were at, because it's fun. Uh, why do you do it? I don't know. This shit's funny as fuck to see how much experience you gain from such a weird encounter like this. Uh, so I've typed it in the chat, Aisling, two-starred, uh, hideout, here we go. Like I said, you just spam the pots, hold right click, you click the strong box, because, you know, you gotta get those extra monsters. Uh, you just keep right clicking to do the convocation, you hold Q to spam the cyclone moving, you spam your flash to keep up your unkillableness. You don't even spawn skeletons normally in easy encounters, it doesn't matter, you don't need skeletons, you have enough damage. Um, and then you only have to really pop Valskelly in a hard situation, and that's how I've been playing it. Very fun playstyle. Look at this. You don't even have to technically do all the flasking craziness, but I'm just doing it because video and it makes sense. So. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now into the safe house and. What's up, dude? Look around, man. What do you mean, man? You can bone armor in this encounter, so the whole fight, your bone armor's up. You cannot win. I can't win? What do you mean? I just won. If you think I'll talk, you're, you're talked, because you died. I interrogated you. It's too late. What we got? Oh my god! Double Harbinger Zord? Sick! And? Eh. Eh. More unveils. Uh, I forgot to show 58.5 million per hour, so the XP is insane. Uh, and then, yeah, we gained almost, it was 1.7 million. Uh, so more of my crazy web of, uh, you know, whatever they call this. I actually have to figure out the name of this, but... Oh, uh, uh, Betrayal? Yeah, Betrayal is the league. Dude, I started in Synth, so, like, I don't even, I, I didn't start in these leagues. These are all, like, I just played them after they were, like, made really well. So now we get to show off how the character plays. So, basically, I just press all the flasks, right-click, as I hold down Q the entire time. Just never let go of the Cyclone, and just keep spinning. Just keep pulling the, the minions with you, because every time you Convocation, it, like, pulls them. So you don't have to worry about the gem, lo uh, the quality. So you get to buy really cheap Ray Zombie and Ray and Ray Spectres and Ray's everything. You get to cheap out on everything and just go 21 zeros and uh, you can deal with the 2120s when you're fucking rich later. I my build is very like budget version. I'm I like doing that. I don't know. It's fun. I don't like squeaking out the tiny little things until I guess we're max level and we're really trying to push the fucking game. Uh, the end we're like rich. Uh, but first I gotta stop wasting all my money on goddamn ancient orbs and then we can actually save up. So that was that. Uh, we gained a whole percentage. That was really sick. And now uh, I'll drop my skellies and uh, we can even bone armor if we want to. For wow, that lag spike. That lag spike. There's five of them? Or four? Interrogate the leader. This is fun, dude. I love this way of playing. I'm, I'm glad I did that to the build and uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get new clips of this shit instead of using the old ones that I had. I had old clips of me doing the encou uh, this encounter, but I think I'm gonna confuse people if I show old clips with the old... Meh. I don't know, dude. I could. Ooh, a trap stash. Let's take... Uh... I'll take the div card, whatever. We could have taken one-eighth of a Chaos Orb. We had a lot of time, you know. I, I looked at all the options. It was either the Chaos Orb thingy or, uh... Wow, that was really good, dude. Harbinger, Harbinger, Torment, Pirandus, Allegion, Polished. Nice. 
do your betrayal and uh, use my kind of betrayal setup. It's really good at getting all uh, your your safe houses quickly and do not complete the mastermind. Yay! Uh, all right, I need to showcase this because this is something ridiculous. Okay, so like in in uh in this betrayal, I guess, or is this immortal syndicate? June, uh, in June. I have made the craziest June web I've ever done. The amount of trust between all these members is absolutely insane. Just for an example, in this encounter, I had four of them fight me. Uh, and the previous one on the same map also gave me four. Also, I would like to point out, all prisoners are set free, plus 32 fortification intelligence. So you see this one? Yeah, 26%. And then nine research intelligence, which is this one. So 9% and 26. Watch this. It only gave me the research intelligence and not the fortification. Keep your word or lose your head. Oh wait, I think I think I'm dumb, and it was this one: intervention and not transportation. My bad. We got it on trans. Yeah, okay. I don't know what this one was at, but it's so crazy. Nine thirty-two percent of the bar, just like that. Bah! Easy. I was doing a bit of leveling again, and uh, I unlocked two investigations. So I just want to show this real quick before I do this too. So before I do their safe house, this is my setup for June, alright? I have the craziest connections you have ever seen, the most amount of allies, except for right here we have one thing. The reason this happened is was to gain 32 fortification intelligence, it's how I got my 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 safe house it, it was like make this arrival gain 32 fortification intelligence boom done we know where the safe house is it's like wow that's so easy so then the other thing is uh, i wanted to show something uh there's that and then i wanted to show the xp from these is like insane whoops uh three nine zeros is okay so yeah basically if the six seven five goes to six seven six you'll be like wow that's a big increase in in uh, XP, like a million from this would be pretty insane, right? Since we just unlocked a safe house, we have two of them. Imagine just running through this and getting a million experience. That'd be pretty goddamn good. Uh, we'll see, though. It, it was a, a million at level 97, so we'll see if it's still a million at level 98. Still working towards level 100. The grind is real. It takes fucking forever. Um, still doing tier 16 mapping because it's just so good uh, with my juiced up maps. Fra uh, sack frags, running scarabs, doing all the things. It takes a long time, but I know that I'm not going to die and I will eventually get to my max level. And then once, it's ma once I'm max, you know, there's nothing, there's no more improvement. And if you're wondering, these two levels do make a pretty big difference. Two extra skill points on the skill tree, extra life, and then we also get extra life mana per level, um, like, per, yeah, base stats. So we actually had enough mana to use our raised zombie perfectly now without turning off precision. So, like, re-raising our zombies is pretty nice, uh, again. And that's all because of the level from 97 to 98. Flame dash. Are you ready, Riker? GG. Interrogate the leader. Boom. So our XP was 7-7. Seven, seven. So we gained 2 million. 2.2 million from a high, from a safe house. That's pretty broken. Uh, we have a syndicate crafting bench. Add 20 million to a gem. Okay. I added 20 million to my thing. Let's uh, get a timer. We'll pick a uh, glove and then timer. You have to wait for the timer on the other one? Wow, that's so weird. We'll take the ring. Okay. Now we'll go straight into the other hideout. Safe house. Hello. Let's just see if we got anything from the unveils though. Oh, something I don't have. Wow. And then the ring. Nope. Like I say, every time I pretty much have all of them. If I ever get one, it's like, wow, that was random. That I don't already have. Because I have literally all of them. 
Okay, let's open up the other investigation. Vagon. So, yeah, we gained a 2.2. We were at 367. 3677 This is really good experience like I was doing this to level up from 87 to 8 and I sorry 97 to 98 when I was uh doing my tier 16 mapping and doing all my dune encounters I was like might as well get rid of these and while I'm at it I'm gaining some insane experience just for doing this small encounter so that 20 million xp actually helped us get the empower leveled up cool that's pretty cool man but now it's just 20 million ahead of the other ones and I'll probably end up catching them all up to each other again and Wasting the 20 million XP. 20 million XP is not even a lot. I've leveled up my Empower Gems already two times. Um, I, so I've made 1200 Chaos or something off of Let's Empower Gems. Pretty arena. good. We forgot to summon our Stone Golem again. Here we go. There we go. Bag in three star. 16 Mastermind XP. Uh, but we already have Mastermind done. So now we're at three six seven nine so we gained another two million experience 1.8 or so safe house stash got some extra two two unveil mon um things okay engineer shards and what the fuck so it has gems currency and frags that's really cool and it even included the ones from legion Fragment of the Phoenix too? Wow! That's pretty cool, man. So you could unlock Shaper without even killing the Guardians. Well, see you later. So yeah, as you saw, the order of the clips is a little bit messed up. The final uh, clip with the two, Vagin and Riker or whatever, uh, where I get 2.2 2 .2 and then 1.8 million XP, those are... Uh, recorded earlier when I was mass running through all of the uh the master missions I built up and uh we had like 25 so that's how I got my June to be so insane and then uh that version of the character there is a build there's a guide for it if you prefer it over the cyclone build that I'm currently running it's the video it's the guide before the cyclone one um it, it's it's also good it has a little bit more damage but obviously the cyclone one's better survivability so you know go with what you want uh one uses a convoking one the other one uses a claw and cyclone so completely like massively different but very very like similar damage and survivability pretty good yeah so uh hope you guys enjoyed and now we'll uh, i'd like to take this time to thank my patreon supporters and uh, I really do actually hope you guys enjoyed those clips and like uh, liked my view of uh, Betrayal and what I'm doing. Uh, so maybe it gives you some ideas for your own, maybe. Uh, so let me, let me do this. So I'd like to thank White Wolf and Tradnix for all the support on Patreon. Uh, they also support me on YouTube memberships. I also have uh, Varkbone and uh, Diver Boy. Uh, I'd like to thank them. If you guys want to also support me, you can through Patreon or YouTube memberships. You can join below. And I uh, appreciate all the support. And I will add your name to the end of the videos as promised on the Patreon and in color. Uh, thank you guys for everyone who can and can't support. And... Uh, Appreciate all the support on the channel. We passed 17,000 subs. Just like to take a, take a second to thank you all. And uh, yeah, we gained like 400 subs in a week or something insane, guys. It's it, all the support over my POE recently is mind blowing. I appreciate it so much. You guys don't know how much this means to me. I've been doing this for fucking ever. <laughs> just this is finally, finally uh, reaching people. All right. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.